Hey folks, we're gonna try to uh, build some wheels with the new foams that I prepared for the 124th scale rigs. So we have three types of foams, uh, foams for 2.4 inches um, tires like the Mud Slinger, uh, foams for uh, or tire inserts for the 2.2 inches um, tires like uh, the boggers from our C4 wheel drive or you know um, the mud bashers as well they are also 2.2 so basically this will match any any oops, sorry any 2.2 uh, tire perfectly well this will match the 2.4 big tires um, and then we have the 2.1 inches uh, tires. Uh, these are the uh, Hyrex. So as you can see, uh, oh, light is not the best. There it is. Uh, it will also match uh, the width and the internal space. So um, I was just building this. So I'm gonna show you guys how they go in and how they work and and I'll try also to show a bit how they change uh, after installing the uh, insert. So um, we'll start with with the mud slinger, the bigger one. I think this this tire is the one that need uh, tire inserts the most since it's so tall that you will see the rig sometimes doing things like that. Uh, you know, on a, on side healing by losing, having too much traction or losing, uh, you know, rolling over because this is just too soft. Uh, if you have an ultra light rig, maybe this is not a problem. But if you have, you know, like rigs like mine where you put a ton of brass, and you know, they they become heavy. Like this is in the stock, and probably this one weights twice the stock one so now um, when I have the standard foam uh, and you know I have a stronger motor here um, so if I'm is the is the tire gets stuck somewhere it will start deforming and you know uh, it's super easy to get stuck uh, in different places and also uh, since I have more weight if I'm in extreme angle it, it will squish the wrong way and it will make my my rig uh, uh, roll over so that's why we want uh, this type of foams instead of the standard foams this is the same story same um, explanation that we have in 110 scale so nothing new there uh, so well you guys saw how this is <laughs> like there's no support really um, these are extremely soft already extremely grippy and they have these huge lags uh, here so you don't really need too much squish uh, to increase traction but you know <coughs> uh, the the part that this thing moves around it's just really annoying when you're driving it's, it's hard to predict what, what's gonna happen with the um, with the rig in those circumstances so we're gonna just quickly um, Show you guys how these uh, inserts go in. Uh, I think they go in really nice, so I'll just show you guys um, how that works. So I'm removing this wheel. This is a bad look wheel, cheap bad look wheel from Ama from Amazon. Um, this is the standard foam right that comes in. This foam also is, is kind of very big, so it it's, it barely fit inside, making it hard to mount. And um, if you see there, oh, it's gone now. Oh, here, uh, the foam broke because the bed was grabbing the foam at the same time. So I, I hate this foam. So this is the the new tire insert extremely soft on the outside and then a stiffer on the inside and the side support is really strong like the, the way that the thing can handle 
uh, when pushing that way on the side is, is extreme and this one is super soft so that's the cool thing about these little guys um, these are printed in ninja tech 85 tpu so super soft uh, you guys know the the drill we, we've gone through that in, in my previous inserts for one ten scale several times so basically uh, same story um, oh I didn't show so here is the insert inside um, you see that uh, it fits perfectly inside and now we're gonna just put the ring I'll just do it quick and then we have like perfect fit for the tire with the insert inside now I'm gonna put the bed goes in really well really easy uh, putting this together with the uh, stock foam it, it's a struggle the stock foam is gonna start pushing the bed you know and and the the tire beds gonna come out it's it's a mess uh, with the with the 3d printed insert is so much easy so much easier So I have just two more screws to go and to go as quick as I can. There it is. So the tire is ready, mounted, uh, and you can see it's still really soft when you press it now uh, when you go to that point of pressing then you start feeling uh, you know the, the internal uh, area of the insert pushing back so and that's what we want we don't want this to get completely deformed and on the side it's you know really strong so it won't you know be deforming the way the, the standard foam is so amazing especially when you're upgrading your rig um, and uh, adding a, a, a ton of weight uh, works great so same thing here I'm just gonna avoid that but basically you know stock foam socks thing moves around so much um, we're gonna install the 3d uh, Printed insert in these ones too. Again, sack foam, hate it. This one is slightly smaller, so it will fit this one perfectly. There it is, perfect fit. Uh, the insert is inside, it's hard to see, but that's a perfect fit. We put the ring inside. Perfect fit again. Now we put the the bed. Need to align the screws. Thank you. 
I'll just put a couple screws to make it shorter. Um, you usually don't need to put all five to get this completely uh, you know, hooked up. Just five screws, do the work. I'll add the rest later just to show you guys. So same story, now it's done, crazy side support and soft in the outer and when you press then it gets stiff, like halfway, but in the outer really soft. So we continue having that traction. Now we're gonna do it with the Hyrex, these are 2.1. So if you run 2.1, this would be the uh, insert for you. Some people really like uh, running smaller tires, just you know, keep the center of gravity, gravity really low. Or because they have rules and you know the and um, and they need to follow those rules. This uh, foams from line by the way are way softer than than RC four wheel drive. They're pretty nice actually for foams. Now you know, remember this uh, the whole deal as well that you can vent this. You won't have any problem with um, water and stuff. That's the other good thing about 3D printed foams. Um, it's very easy. Uh, you don't need the maintenance of the foams. So look at that uh, perfect fit of, of the foam inside. Is soft in the outer and then gets firm the same way the ones that we looked before. We're gonna put the ring inside. When we put in the ring, we need to stretch it, stretch the, the insert of it. It's beyond, beyond, beyond that, it's pretty straightforward, like any other foam. Again, really soft in the outside. Uh, now we have this killer side support, uh, which is amazing. Now we're gonna put the bed in place. I like this. I mean, the, this plastic um, wheels from Proline, they're pretty nice. Uh, easy to install. Only three screws, like they won't last the same as much as you know the those aluminum wheels, but they they're pretty nice. I like them. So there it is, mounted. Uh, it's pretty nice. Again, really soft in the outside. But when you press it a lot, then you will start uh, feeling the the center of the the, the insert that's you know uh, supporting everything. And the side, since these are shorter, it's even stronger. They f they feel super steady. I actually, think this probably is gonna be the best performing of all. I really want to try them. I love the mud slingers though. Uh, they're, they're huge and they're so grippy. But I think these Hyrax, are, because of the low, you know, small size, keeping the low the center of gravity extremely low, it's gonna do amazing as well. Um, so 2.2 also would work with, you know, the these tires here. Um, so you have basically, I think these three sizes of in, of tire insert cover most of the sizes that you will find um, uh, of different tires. Like each of these foams will fit, uh, uh, at least one of these foams will fit almost every brand 
and size of tire that's available in the market, I believe. So this is 2.1, 2.2, and 2.4 inches. There's 2.0 inches as well, like the stock ones, but hey, who, who's installing uh, foams, like 3D printed foams in, in, um, in stock tires? I, I don't think people are doing that. But, well, if that becomes a need, maybe I'll, I'll design a new one for 2.0. But, you know, the space needed to, to have a two-stage insert inside it just becomes smaller and smaller. I think the 2.1 inches is probably the limit to keep it as uh, soft and, you know, and, and having that two-stage feeling where the outer is really soft and the inner is, is stiffer. And, yeah, all the other benefits waterproof on the side is really strong uh, yeah. you guys know how that works alright thank you folks bye